The next one is a buttons with icon. So for buttons with icon, what is the differences between the buttons, basic buttons and button with icon? So ba basic buttons are just, it is displaying the information. It is just displaying the information. Now, if you want to add a icons, right? So if you want to add a, some icons before that. So if you want to add a icons, simply what you have to do here, click on the developer console. You have already implemented the buttons. You have already implemented the buttons. But in case if you want an icon, now I wanted to place the icon. Now if I want the icon name, so just say here attribute which is called as an icon name. Now for this icon name, where should I need to get the icon names? Where should I need to get it from the icon names? Salesforce. Uh, LDS. Design systems. Now in the lightning design systems, go to the lightning design system, go to the icon. Click on these icons. So we have a different type of icons. Yesterday also we have seen these different type of icons. Now let's say utility one. I wanted to go for a utility one. In the utility one, there are different, different options are available. Let's say in the utility, I wanted to use one of the icon. Let's say I wanted to use the Let's use this play. There is a something. Play is there. So I wanted to use this icon. So here, the first thing you need to specify the utility. Utility. From the utility, we are using the icon called play. Click on save. Similarly, for others also, you can add it. Right? So for others also, you can add the icon in. I'm just going to add it for only two buttons. The first three buttons, I'm adding it. Now, let's say here, one is a play, and then next one, I'm going to use the profile. And other one is maybe I'll use this quip. Click on save. Now let's go ahead and test it. Just refresh. Click on this detail section. So basically, if you click on this quick create, it is going to show you the icons, right? So for first three, I have added the icons on the button. So you can decide it where you want the icon, whether you want the icon position left side or right side. So by default, it is displaying the left side. If you want the other side, you can specify here icon position. If you specify the icon position, it will be at the Let's say here, I have another attribute which is called as a icon name. So when I say icon name, so icon position, I need to use the icon position. Icon position equal to, I'll just say here, right. By default, it is displaying in the left side. If you want a right position, you can specify the right position. Let's click on the refresh. Now here we have a click on this quick create. So when I click on the quick create, 
for the first one it is displaying in the right side rest of them are displaying in the left side right so you can decide it what is the position of the icon on the button right so that is the purpose of button and button icon so button icon is it suggests uh, differences between the basic button and button icon is if you want a icon you just need to place it the icon name and icon position if you want a different position and you have only two positions left and right you do not have a top and bottom does not have only left and right positions are there now that's about the button now one more thing especially the lightning components at the back end we everything gets gets converted into the javascript and html now this is the component how did we implement we implemented using the lightning component right aura we have implemented right click on this inspect and is my lightning component is displaying it or does it convert into the any other now, if you go to the elements, whatever you have implemented, everything gets converted into the HTML. Everything gets converted into the HTML. So, right click inspect, right? Now, you go to the elements. In the elements, you can see here one lightning input is there. Now, in this lightning input, we simply return the only one line of the lightning input. Right. So when we return the one line of in lightning input, Salesforce is converted at least to the four lines of it. Similarly, the lightning button. So for lightning button, it is converted into the HTML button. Right. And it has added the classes based on the lightning input. Based on the lightning input, it has added the some classes. SLDS button, SLDS button descriptive. Right. These are the what are this? I did not add a class into the my code. I just added the variant, variant equal to base. When I say variant equal to base, there is no class is there. When I say variant equal to neutral, so it is added the class SLDS hyphen button underscore brand or underscore neutral. So these are the, it gets converted into the their own format. Similarly, if I have written any logic, all the logic will be converted into the JavaScript. All the logic, it gets converted into the JavaScript. So JavaScript, by default, it will take everything as a string. By default, it will take everything as a string. Now, whatever you give, by default, Java, JavaScript is going to convert everything as a string. Now, whether you give a telephone number or whatever is there here, lightning input, for capturing it, this is lightning input is what type of a information do I need to capture it? So once I capture the information, what I need to store it is up to the aura attribute because this is this is for what is the data needs to be entered on the text. Once the data is entered, where should I need to store? I need to store it into the one attribute. What type of a attribute? It's related to the JavaScript. How the JavaScript is going to store? By default, everything is taken as a string, right? So when we implement a logic in the controller or a helper, you will be able to understand what are the different types, uh, different data types we have it, how we are capturing it at the back end, how it is gets converted. We will be able to see those all information. For now, let's understand the basic thing, how to implement it, just a UI without any logic, just a UI, how to implement it. Right, so if it is a basic button with icon, just you need to specify the icon name and icon position. 